Hey guys, Coach Sue here with Physique Development and today we are going to be going over the Dumbbell Overhead Press. This is going to be a great exercise if you want to be able to bias the medial delt. You'll still get some anterior delt volume, but this isn't going to be an anterior delt bias. We do have another video on that and that will be linked in the description box below. And then your secondary muscle that's going to be moving in this is going to be your triceps, which I'll talk about here in a little bit. So when we look at the Dumbbell Overhead Press, we want to start from the setup. You can set yourself up for success or failure within any exercise with the setup. So oftentimes I see people get their bench at a complete 90 degree angle or a lot of gyms have the shorter bench that is just set at the 90 degree angle and doesn't have any variance to be able to adjust the bench. Now this isn't bad to be able to do the dumbbell overhead press in but it is going to depend on where your mobility is as well. When you are doing a dumbbell overhead press you are going into external rotation. So if I'm to go ahead and stand here into external rotation, I have great mobility here and great range of motion. Sometimes when people come into external rotation, their arms end here. If I go ahead and sit down on a bench that's at 90 degrees, it's going to end up me just pressing straight in front of me, which isn't going to bias the muscle group that we want here. So being able to have this bench at a slight incline can be very helpful where again, if I go into that external rotation and lean back, my forearms are now perpendicular to the ground and I can go ahead and press up and be in a more advantageous position to be able to bias the medial delt. There's a few other things here when we're going through the movement that we wanna keep in mind. So one of those is gonna be keeping the forearm perpendicular to the ground. Another is going to be keeping the wrist stacked on top of the elbow. As we start to bring our fist or the dumbbell closer to our head, our triceps start to take over. So keeping that wrist stacked on top of that elbow is again going to help that tension on the medial delt, as well as making sure your wrist stays stacked over everything as a whole because you'll pick up a dumbbell and be holding it like this. Now, not only is that extremely uncomfortable and cause a lot of pain in the wrist, but it limits your ability to do the exercise because of that pain and the range of motion and what that wear and tear can be. So making sure you have that dumbbell stacked on top so you can get the most bang for your buck out of the exercise. Another thing I commonly see when we're going through the dumbbell overhead press is people are pressing up and trying to get the dumbbells to touch one another. And now with that, again, we are not keeping the forearm perpendicular to the ground, but it's also something that we really wanna think about getting our elbow or our bicep, whatever's gonna be easiest for you to remember, towards our ear. Now, not completely touching our ear here because again, we wanna think about the origin and insertion of the medial delt. And by pressing all the way over here, we are not having any tension on this medial delt as we go through the movement. So this being our end range of motion, coming down and again thinking about that elbow or the bicep coming in closer to your ear to go throughout that movement. Now again, with this movement, as I talk about the fact that we're going into external rotation, we also want to keep in mind where our elbow placement is. Some people can go completely out to the side and this feel natural as they're going through the movement, but it might be better for you to slightly move your elbow so that you're able to have better range of motion and less pain. This will also cause you to slightly rotate your wrist as you're going into this position. You won't be completely in front of you, but it's just coming from this position to here and rotating your wrist with it and being able to press up and still bias that medial delt. We wanna make sure we don't get to a place where our shoulders start to roll forward. So it's not that we're trying to get the absolute most range of motion out of this. We wanna go with the active range of motion or the range of motion that's right for you. So if you come down here and then your shoulders start to roll forward, you're out of active range of motion and you need to stop before those start to roll forward. For myself, I can come all the way down here with my shoulders still staying upright, but again, more range of motion doesn't always mean better range of motion or better tension on the muscle. So for myself, I'm coming down, I'm breaking parallel, but then I'm going ahead and pressing back up. And within this movement and a lot of movements, we do wanna focus on our core and making sure we're breathing correctly and not putting our pelvis in an interior pelvic tilt. Even if we are on a bench, that can cause a lot of pain. So making sure you're coming to neutral and really keeping that core tight. 
a great way if you're trying to progress in the exercise. You can use your legs to help you out. Having the dumbbells rest on your thighs and being able to kick up the weight so that you can get it into good position to go ahead and start pressing. So you're not utilizing too much of your energy to get the dumbbell up before you even start the exercise. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you're gonna love this video and love this video. And if you want more from us, check out our website at physiquedevelopment.com.